and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you a, a rising star. Well, we're going to learn about that in just a few moments. But someone that I, in full transparency, that I had an opportunity to work with uh, several years ago, and it was just such an amazing individual, a leader um, in so many different aspects. But I just, I was so excited to have her join the show today. Guys, y'all give it up for none other than Loretta Leonhardt. Thank you. Can you hear him clapping for you? That's not the first applause you've received lately. <laughs> huh? Hey, Loretta, I want to give you a chance to introduce yourself a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Well, I am Loretta Lenhart, and I am a sales performance specialist with IRT Living. Uh, right now, I'm currently finishing up my role as an assistant manager over at Lakeside at Capel. And I am about training people. So, so Loretta, we, we were talking a little bit earlier um, about, you know, things that have been going on with you and you, you have been such an inspiration to so many. And it's been through you sharing on social media, kind of your journey, you know, the, the successes and some of the misses. And it's been so neat for me to 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 watch and follow and read your your thoughts and notes because it's it's been very uh, authentic. I think that's what is truly uh, valuable about what you've been sharing lately. But something really amazing has happened uh, for you lately. You received something kind of cool. Share with us what what that might have been, maybe. I received the prestigious Rising Star Award. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. That's Thank awesome. Congratulations. And you got quite an applause for that. Uh, so way to go. Congratulations. I'm excited to hear about that for you. But Loretta, you've been such a leader in such a unique way, such a generous person because you give not only of your time, but you give of your talent to other people to help them grow. And I think that's what makes such a, a powerful leader is that they give of themselves to other people to help them. And I always like to connect with these wonderful leaders, peek behind the curtains to find out what inspires these amazing leaders. I reached out to you, asked to say, hey, what inspires you? You brought back three incredible points. And so I wanna get into these with you. So the first one, just something you do every day before the coffee. So share with us what, what that is that inspires you, that you do before coffee. Great. Uh, I have a very important need in the morning time. Before I start my day, before I get out of bed, I mean, I don't even get a chance to wash my face. I I have to have God every day before coffee. This is what helps everybody else when I go to the office. Those two <laughs> things are imperative that I have to have. So I meditate, I pray. Well, sometimes I've already worked out after God, okay, before coffee. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that. <laughs> and then I have my reward, which is the coffee. And it gives me a chance to, you know, you can't always plan everything in one day, mm -hmm. but I can prepare for the day. And I believe that attitude is what I'm, you know, most grateful for is whenever I go, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this. It's like, why not? Somebody's already done it. So you better get up and go and do it. Put the boots on the ground. It's, it's got to happen regardless. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, I know I've got to deal with these residents. So what? They're, they're going to deal with you. So, you know, it's all about <laughs> you being your best and being the most shining light that you can be to that individual. You never mm. know. I had a yeah. vendor that broke down in my office one day and I, he was gonna quit. I said, no, winners don't quit. I said, winners keep going. Mm. And you must, and because of that, he's still one of our vendors. So wow. you know, it inspired him, it took me 20 minutes. I said, this made my day so rewarding was to just do that. I'm not saying mm. the other part wasn't, but it was just to help that individual to get over that obstacle. Oh my gosh, Loretta, that's fantastic. And what you shared about the day is going to come at you regardless, but if you prepare for it, that gets you ready for some, some 
incredible encounters and experiences, you know, whether it be a, a normal encounter or something like you saying a vendor coming to you and breaking who, you know, who, who, who knows those things are going to happen, but because you've prepared, you're ready for those things. Absolutely. And I, I believe that's my mantra in life, you know, wherever mm -hmm. I went to half price bookstores back in the day when we had them before online. And I just felt led to walk in there, didn't even know why. And a young lady was crying in the corner and mm -hmm. I felt like that's where I was needed. Same thing wow. in the office when a resident is upset or they're screaming, you know, the first thing we need to do is use this organ right here. Listen, listen to those key points and everything you're listening to could be that one thing that you can wrap your head around and help them and to pull them out of that and help them grow. Wow. Wow. And that's generosity from you is that listening and being in the moment and hearing the things that they're saying so that you can help. Loretta, you are just you just keep leveling up every time I get a chance to connect with you and talk to you and learn from you. And, and I love it so much. So the the other thing you shared with me, the second point that inspires you is reflecting on yesterday. And I think this is what a valuable, you know, task to, to, to do so that you can move forward. So tell us what that means to you, reflecting on yesterday. Um, it, what does that mean and how do you do that? Great. Um, that question has always been a question in my mind. You know, so when I go and work out, okay, first I take God with me before I go out the door. At four o'clock in the morning, I have to, you know, meet with him first because he's the CEO of my life. <laughs> and then I go to the gym, Hot Works. And as I'm working out, I'm thinking about yesterday. Mm. How could I have been a better me? How can I have been more than I was? Was there anything in my life or anything that I shared with another person that maybe I could add to or improve upon as myself? I need to improve every day. I'm not an expert. I'm not an mm. expert until I leave this earth. And then I know I've overcome all the obstacles in life, you know. So when I look at it, I may have made a mistake. I tell people it's okay to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. We just don't keep making them. We just go forward and become better and where we don't make those mistakes and find ways to improve. Mm. That is so good. And one of the things that you, you said, Loretta, that really resonates with me is how can I be better today than I was yesterday? You're not competing against anybody else. You're not comparing yourself to anyone else. You are you are focused on how you can make an improvement from yesterday. And I think that is such that is such a a it's one, it is extremely powerful, but two, it is something that we as a as a person, as a human, can can grasp. We can say, okay, yesterday happened. What were the issues? What were the mistakes? What were the, the successes? But how can I take it one step further today? That is such a valuable tool and, and thought process. I, I love it because I don't beat myself up. Mm. I'm always encouraging myself because I'm my biggest encourager to motivate myself, to speak as, uh, affirmations every day to myself because I'm this person. I'm who I am because of whom has made me. Wow. wow. You know, and I and I love what you said about leveling up. I, I wrote something yesterday, which was, I didn't get it on the, of course, I didn't have time. I was traveling. <laughs> but I wrote that I'm a better me because I leveled up from last year, from this day last year. So when you said that, I, was, I thought about that. I said, I am, you know, I'm trying <laughs> to level up each day. Yeah, that that is fantastic. You're just, and I love that you are you are constantly encouraging yourself, even through the misses, even through the successes. It's a constant encouragement. It's a motivation for yourself. And those daily affirmations, as goofy as it may sound, your success begins with your thinking. And if you can think well, if you can think positively, positive things happen. Absolutely. Loretta, you're speaking my language. I love I love chatting with you. This is so good. Now, the third thing you shared with, with me is learning from leaders everywhere. Now, it's not just 
one leader, but it's leaders from everywhere is what I'm gathering. So tell us what this means and how learning from leaders everywhere inspires you. Well, Gary, you're a prime example because not only did I have the opportunity and the honor to work with you at one point in my life, on my journey, I've had many opportunities with many great leaders in my personal arena, you know, in my life. Uh, I have motivational speakers. I have people that have been through the grunge and the grime and they've been able to succeed and surpass their, you know, life expectation where people thought they wouldn't be any more than they are. Mm -hmm. I love to volunteer with leaders, you know, because it helps me realize the journey that they're taking. We're all on different paths, but we all aim for the same goal is to get to the finish line. You know, so like John Maxwell, I've got several people that I just love with their leadership skills. Uh, Grant Cardone, there's a lot mm -hmm. of authors that I read, you know, I can't even tell you. Like I see the 10X rule on your uh, <laughs> yes. face now. I'm like, I know Grant Cardone, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I needed to apply that yesterday when I went and shopped. That's all Ooh. I'm saying on that one. But <laughs> I mean, it, it's great advice. I mean, you take bits and pieces from everybody to develop into the leader you want to be. Mm. I would love to be Gary Gregory, but there's only one Gary Gregory. Our thumbprints are different, Ooh. but we all have a thumbprint. And that's where I want to be is I want to inspire others, motivate them, whatever, wherever and whatever they're doing. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if it's just work uh, or in my normal everyday life, wherever I'm at, supermarket, it doesn't matter. I want to be able to motivate others as I go along. Uh, wow. Way. Wow. That is, that is so good, Loretta. And I love how you have this recognition awareness that, you know, hey, I want to learn from the people around me the leaders around me you know and and a big thing is is you intentionally surround yourself with these unique leaders so that you can learn from them and you have the awareness to to take hey this is great this is good stuff maybe not so much over here so i'm not going to take that but you have this awareness to intentionally surround yourself with great leaders you pull in from them the things that you can learn but what I find most valuable, what you said, Loretta, is you recognize that you are unique. You are you are uniquely made. You have a, a, a special gift, skill and talent that God has given you so that you can be a, a value add, a blessing to this world through your unique gifts, skills and talents. And you're going to use it to benefit other people. That is so brilliant, Loretta. And I'm just, I'm so, I'm so blown away by, by your heart of leadership. It is it, so powerful. You know, I, one thing I've learned about my current regional, he said something great one day and it stuck with me. I hope he listens to this. He'll know I really was listening. You know, <laughs> that there's a lot of great managers and it doesn't matter what you manage, where you're at, but I aspire to be a better leader mm -hmm. you know, because managing is one thing, but are you leading, you know, wherever you're at, are you leading? Because you can manage anything. You can do it by paper. You can do it over the phone. You can do it in an email, but I want to be there. I want to be a leader. So good. So good. I always love for me, managers lead tasks, leaders lead people. Oh, yes. Let's go. Loretta. So good. Hey, we're almost at the end of our time. It's been so great catching up with you and chatting with you. Before we wrap up, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us. I feel like the most important thing for me, and I hope it helps others with my final thought, that as I take the next step today, wherever I am, it will open up new doors in different areas of our lives regardless what's on the other side of the door, I want to make a change. I love it. I love it. You are, you are ready. You're prepared to go open those doors, to make positive changes, to influence other people and, and make yourself better than you were yesterday because you have that awareness. You're finding opportunities to improve not only yourself, but other people as well. Loretta, it has been so great connecting with you, chatting with you and learning from you as well. So thank you so much for joining us today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. Guys, if you ever get a chance to connect with Loretta, please 
take that opportunity because I promise you money back guarantee you will be better for it for connecting with her because she is such a true heartfelt leader. So guys, thank you so much for joining us. Loretta, great job. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.